Let's hop into it. Take a look here. And they're playing against OG, defending oh, TI champions, who obviously uh, have the story that a million documentaries mm. have been made. And actually, every single time I've watched one of them, I watched one of them on the plane back over here. Oh, yeah. It's still just as good. It's literally still just as good. I don't think it, I'm ever going to get tired of it. People it's like the uh, the underdog story, right? And they got one of the best ones there is. Totally. But you know what's a better one? If Infamous was able to win this, that would be another underdog story because I think OG is coming in here favored, uh, if I have to be honest. Uh, not by a huge amount. I actually think that uh, I, I, I had predicted Infamous taking one game in this <sighs> series because I, I think that if there's going to be games that Infamous take, it's going to be in the mm -hmm. early phases of the group stage. That's what I would say about them. Yeah, some surprises coming out. Uh for now, the the bands from OG just looking very, you know, meta. Like these big heroes, like you have your Mag plus one sort of a combo that maybe teams are very comfortable with. We have the Alchemist, who's very frustrating to play against. And uh, yeah, I, don't, I guess in this one, I mean, as per usual, of course, our wonderful viewers they they know more than we do, frankly, because uh, we're we're having an issue. We we can't really keep up with a lot of the games going on, right? It's hard to see like uh, drafts and everything. Uh, as uh, we we've got some. You know, it's, uh, we don't have all access to all the, the great realms of the internet. We didn't get to internet, watch them the other the games. Yeah. All right. So, so. It, it, it should be noted, though, that in the earlier series today, mm -hmm. OG played against Na'Vi. They took the series 1-1 apiece. Um, and OG doing a lot of the same stuff that they were doing last TI that got them where they uh, were before with, um, you know, the Arc Warden, the Spectre, uh, those type the of Ember. heroes that just go to the late <laughs> stage, right? Like, that's... Yeah. That's their style of Dota. Um, although they can do some of the early pushes, sometimes around Chen, which is why you see Infamous ban that one out. And they're going to take their Tiny first overall. Tiny. And we got Chen and Intercon, as you said, eh? Hmm. Okay. So uh, with the, the Magnus, I guess the Ember is one that kind of pops out here. I think if OG won it, they probably would take it in the first phase. Uh, some players still feel like the hero is worth it. Let's see if OG are, are still within that camp. Uh, we have the, the Kunkka, too. Because maybe you're thinking things like, okay, Infamous is taking the Tiny. You know, are they going to play the Brood on us, maybe? Mm. Don't have to worry about that. You might want to cover your bases. But we're going to get ourselves another Elder Titan. Uh, five or a four hero here. I feel like it's No Tail if it's uh, OG. But, of course, could be JRX. It just depends on what, uh, what they're going to need in their other support hero. Yeah, definitely. Well, and I like the Infamous opening as well with Tiny. Like, it's not something that people have always been first phasing, but sometimes it's been, like you've said, into that Broodmother later or what have you. Uh, but the biggest thing is that you can, like, send it to a lot of different yeah. lanes. Could be Chris Luck, Whisper, Schofield, whoever wants to play it. And he's really been put through the ringer. Like, Tiny just keeps getting nerfed over and over and yeah. over and over. But the hero's still good. Because uh, moving his way into support for the most part. But uh, kind of similar to, like, Hook... Or uh, Lasso with Batrider, it's like this movement changing sort of thing, like pulling people out of position like you can with Toss. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just always going to be a very strong uh, concept in Dota. So, I have seen a couple of teams do the like toss the range creep in the off lane mm -hmm. to that little, uh, particularly on Dire side. Um, I think you can do it on Radiant side as well pretty yep. easily. It's easy on both, frankly. Yeah. You just, the thing is you need two heroes. And so... Uh, right. It, it can be hard to uh, to catch the second creep wave if you're busy doing that on the first creep wave because mm. then you'll often get intercepted by the enemy team support. Got it. So there's like a bit of a trade-off there. But, you know, uh, taking those range creeps away early can be very good. That is interesting. Uh, Silencer was huge in South America during the qualifiers. Right. That I, I did see. Like, the hero was very popular. So uh, they're, they're putting that in. But, I mean, it's good against Elder Titan because you can obviously, like, stop the combo and everything at those, like, key moments. And kind of the same thing with Rubik. Like, you see a big steal or something. Maybe that's going to help out a lot. But no, like, huge counter here. For the no. Well, it could also be, like, a preemptive worrying about, like, an Enigma or something out of OG. Enigma, Ember, yeah, even, can run into some trouble versus the Silencer, too. So that, that could be one of the things that they're thinking about. I also will say that, like, if you're Silencer right now, that's a hero that it wasn't just South America. I feel like Europe was playing it a good amount, too. I remember seeing Cinderin's team play it a lot uh, in the open qualifiers as well. And um, you're uh, taking advice from that, or...? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> he's, my, he's our co-broadcaster at this point. Why are you kind of kicking me? He can't be listening because he's casting somewhere else. <laughs> That's a you good see? point. This is, this is when you get him. <laughs> Gotta get him. I like it. Um, but uh, anyways, the point being that this, particularly with something like a Batrider, which we haven't seen a lot in this tournament so far, could be really strong. That's like the classic opening. I, I, I would really like to see maybe Infamous go back for a bat or something like that. It's just that hard initiation, which they already have some of with Tiny, but there could be another one in there. Yeah, and Storm is the other big one, right? Yeah. Uh, 
comes to mind, at least for me, is like protecting those uh those guys just want to go in, grab a hero, try and get a kill. Mm -hmm. Well, and particularly already having the tiny, mm -hmm. like if you have that storm for that follow up afterwards, then he doesn't have to be the first one in, and you know, obviously that makes it so much more powerful mm -hmm. as well. And who knows, perhaps it could be the core silencer. That, oh that was a God. thing for a little bit. I feel like a lot of teams were experimenting with it out of the mid lane. I've been losing to a lot of core silencers <laughs> in my pubs. <laughs> Granted, not a big thing when it goes to competitive Dota, but I will say that when this hero gets ahead, he can be a menace. Um, and particularly just stealing the int. It's like that thing that's just not really thought of that often, but losing the ability to cast your spells sucks. <laughs> I wonder what Seb's going to play this game. Beastmaster, I feel like Beastmaster and Mag are his two big ones right now. Yeah. Like the Beast Ban. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was going to say is that, like, Seb, of course, Nature's Prophet was another one that they used all the time on OG because of flexibility, but I haven't seen a Nature's Prophet all day. I mean, yeah. Like, at least in the streams I've been watching. has not been a hero that's popped up. So, Seb going back for something. Uh, I mean, we're assuming Seb. Uh, it could be. A, Seb would also play an ET offlane. I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm thinking it's it's probably MP. We're saying I like agree. 80 or 90, 90%, percent, yeah. 95 percent. So here's the question: Which of these heroes is No Tail playing? I, I think really he's playing the ET. ET, okay. um, like No Tail, ET, Jarek's on the Rubik, and then Seb on the Nature's Prophet, and they'll just be like a really punishing dual off lane. Yeah. Uh, probably gonna be. They'll probably put the Rubik with the NP though, because you don't want the Rubik protecting your unless your one is like really strong. I like will, has kill potential. I will say I'm worried now. The Jakiro and Silencer, neither one deals particularly well with Trance. Jakiro's uh, okay. Jakiro's pretty good. But in terms of being able to like soak up damage in the early levels, I think. That's what I always think of as like the lack of ability to build a stout shield on these guys. But yeah, I guess that you can yeah. kill them off. Jakiro's like the classic counterpick mm -hmm. to Nature's Prophet for the laning stage. Okay. You just like liquid fire the Trance and keep right clicking them. They like can't mm -hmm. attack or anything. They're so much weaker now than they used to be. Um, the Jug stands out. Uh, jug can be a little obnoxious versus the Silencer because like, you can't spin always to save with the Global, but uh, they also have no BKB Pierce. You see the Ice Path coming. It's a really strong hero that can get by with like a Rubik in the laning stage. They go for the Yerocopter again. Okay. A lot of early aggression. I think Infamous have what it takes, though. Like, I feel like at this point, get K1 on a, you know... Something like that that jug. I think that's a great pick now, particularly against the gyro. Yeah, it's true. Just kind of go back the other way. Uh, have not seen a Wraith King today, have you? No. No, where's I our, Where's our boy? I think that guy's still pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what the hero would be that took over for him. I guess the thing is he doesn't really do that much. Like, he gets a Midas Radiance and just kind of walks around. And he has kill threat in lane. It's pretty yeah, good versus like big, a big like ulties and stuff. The only problem is that like they have so much uh, skeleton clear between like the Rubik, the Gyro, even the ET a little bit that uh, they're not they're not gonna be that scary this game. Right, got a Chris Luck Quap. Classic SA Dota. Perhaps the most the only thing more classic would be like a Tinker, like that C Dotes kind of deal. Mm. And I remember casting the old Infamous, and I remember oh the Blink God. Dagger oh Queen of Pain. It was, oof, A, a plus. Mm -hmm. I think Zen Q did that once, too, on a support Queen yes. of Pain, if I, if I recall. Yes, he did. I and think they, they won that. Did Whoa. they lose that game? No, it no, was no, no, they they lost that game, but we didn't blame it on the Blink. Yes, that's I feel what like it was. I said exactly that. It was Blink into Dagon 5, Queen of Pain. Oh, that's what it was. What a build. And it was actually Guys, legit. Guys, just leave right now. Go queue up. <laughs> Hit that roll, you know. <laughs> you're 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 not lying. You can queue support. You'll get the faster game, and you can still pick Queen of Pain, and then just link them the Dota buff after. Be like, guys, it was this match. Look, I'm just I'm following the pros. Oh you know, God. I got flame my last game. They said, don't you watch pro Dota? Yeah. Don't you know what to do? This is Serenity Easy. Dota. That's right. The old school. Well, nonetheless, uh, Queen of Pain taken. I don't expect to see that this time around. Uh, at this point. What's it looking like is the three? Is it is it looking like a tiny to you? Uh I guess suppose so. I kind of like a like a Jakiro safe lane and then tiny silencer together, right? In the off lane. Oh like you mean like a Jakiro A Jakiro well no, Jakiro like in the safe lane, whoever's oh, there yeah, whatever, okay, I guess to you. deal with NP. Yeah. No, I thought you were saying like aggro. Oh no. Pick no, some no. like third aggro jug or something and just go Got run at it. him. 
You know what uh, we used to talk about all the time was the, the Lycan versus the Gyro. Well, Ly- Lycan's a hero who has mm. a, a very high win rate in uh, in pubs. I just broke my pen. So. Oh, well, I got more clearly. for you. Don't worry. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Uh, it, it was one, Oh, no, I really broke my oh. I'm really sad, guys. I broke the clicky <laughs> thing on my Tell me about Lycan. What are you doing? Ly- Lycan? Oh, <laughs> Get right. the clicky thing uh, out of here. Lycan, Lycan and Gyrocopter. <laughs> it, it, there was an argument of, like, what counter is which because uh, the the Lycan can, like, burst down the Gyrocopter so fast with all his summons, but then there was the idea that the uh, the Gyrocopter can just, like, destroy all the summons. Right? right? That was, like, this whole debate for, like, five or six months in Pro Dota where, like, some teams thought that one ca- one hero countered the other, but the other teams thought it was the other way. And uh, I don't know. Lycan's been, like, shredding the pubs lately. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing it, <gasps> but I guess we are going to get the Wraith King. I don't know about that, though. I do think there's some serious problems, but I know that SA was picking a boatload of Wraith King. It was, like, okay. all over. I, mean, I guess everyone kind of was during the quals. Thank you, OD Pixel. Appreciate it. Uh, and uh, I'm okay with it. It's kill threat, right? Win the lanes. Win lanes, win game. Okay. They have very strong laning heroes. Pretty much all five of them are, are like, real good in lanes. Very obnoxious to play against. Last pick, Invoker, the Thompson specialty. We've seen it before. Are we going to see success? Crosswex against Queen of Pain? Um, that actually sounds really good. It is a sick Rubik game. Yeah. It is a really fun Rubik game. You got Ice Path. You got Blink, the Queen of Pain. You got Wraith Fire Blast. You got Tiny Spells. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just Whisper you got to worry about there on the Silencer. Fair enough. Well, I, I remember when I was first learning to play Invoker, somebody was telling me this is how you kill Queen of Pain, and it was like Ice Wall with Cold Snap once you have a certain number of points up in your uh, your quest with like an urn on it. And it's just, you, you can't blink away, you can't do anything. She's going to have to go BKB relatively early in this one. Wasn't, was it Thompson who like never played Quas Wax? Like before last TI, he didn't have a single game of Quas Wax, no, right? Oh, or, or was it the other Quas, way? Quas Exor, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Because he always went the, me- he he always went the Meteor <laughs> Hammer build yeah. back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like if you looked through his games, he had like two games ever or something of Exor. But, uh, it's amazing, this one, right? Yeah. Like against Wraith King, Quap. Like all of these heroes struggle with it. Perfect. Doesn't really. I mean, they, they actually have kind of good setup with the, uh, the Sunstrike, though, from the uh, ET. Okay. Oh, oh, I, it's, it's both teams. Yeah, both teams are doing it. I am not, this is going to be the hardest game to cast for us all TI because both teams are chat why, wheel spammers. Why is it hard to cast? They're, they're doing it for us. <laughs> That's a good point. We just got to shut up. No, we'll just let I'll it happen. Let the chat wheels take care of it. That's a good point. Yeah. The middle of the fight, I'm just like not saying anything. Because that was the thing too for OG last year, right? Was that they were like chat wheeling in the middle of killing somebody. <laughs> It's uh, surely going to be lots of Sebs thrown around. Uh, I, like, I like how they always come all at once because everyone's just waiting. Like, they're just spamming, waiting for that little <laughs> three seconds, two seconds, <laughs> one second. <laughs> That's good. It's Ibisea. That's what we got to say as we're going to take a moment just to listen to the cries coming from all of the players. Is that the crowd? I love the way they typed that one out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, player of the least deaths. We got to help people with their predictions. Mm, okay. Is that what we got to do? Yeah, yeah. Who do you think? Least deaths. Uh, let's go Ana. Why not? Ana? Uh, okay. All right, I can get by it. First player to buy a blink dagger. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Queen of Pain. <laughs> All right, perfect. <laughs> that's what I'm taking. Next up. Total number of towers killed before 25 minutes. Um, ooh, that's gonna be a lot. Let's say, let's say five. Okay, all right, zero to five. That's easy. Yep. Player with the highest net worth at game end. Um, ooh, that's a Anna. tough one. Ana, 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 Ana. Yeah. All right. You don't well, think Seb's gonna pop off? No. Uh, uh, maybe though. Property. You never know. It's a, he could be. That's true, actually. Now let's go on. All right, you heard it here first, guys. How to get everything correct. So moving in here, we've got, as the horn starts to count down, Infamous set up to try and secure this rune down on the bottom side. Schofield hasn't skilled anything up as of yet, and does look like he's going to be able to uh, steal that one away. Bounty rune picked up, but in some trouble. No-Tail walking around the other side to try and get the body blocks off, but it is just going to be a kill onto the ET. Dead, done, and dusted. 
<laughs> wow, I can't believe they tipped them. That's so weird. Who would have seen that one coming between these two teams? Fair enough, right? <laughs> oh my god. God, <laughs> what I mean, is we're, happening? We're just gonna be silent. I mean, that's that's <laughs> the strat. We just let it go. Yeah, fair enough. We'll figure it out. So, in the meantime, it is actually looking like it's going to be a uh, a whisper silent of the farm priority here, if I'm not mistaken. And already picking up some of that in. It's a nice way to do it. Toss back underneath the tower. No tail. Gonna give up his life for this one, but that means more in going. Into the big brain of Mr. Whisper. Oh, yeah. we. I mean, we were just talking about how they played the silencer nonstop and then they called time, my bad. Uh, yeah, th this was, like, the big thing. It's just, like, constant silencer all the time. Yeah. Uh, I, I do like the hero way more as a core than the support right now, I think. Unless it's, like, a super hard counter to someone. Then I like it as the, the five, like that Enigma and everything. But uh, aside from that, like, y I mean, you said it, right? It's a, a hero that just snowballs like crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, the more kills that you can snag. And now he's up to two, right? Yeah, so... Yeah, Jeez, Chris Locke, this guy's nuts. Look at him. Look at him. He's just going back in, He's man. He's crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fair fire. He just doesn't care. And, I mean, that's the thing. If you're going Quas Wex, right, like, he doesn't have to worry about getting just clapped by a random Sunstrike. I guess. <laughs> uh, does he have more things coming out? Yeah, he's bringing out the Courier as well. Down bottom, Stinger trading hits with Jerex here on the Rubik. Our man, one getting punched down, he's going to be fine. Yeah, Jarek, he's holding that. He's doing the math, though. It, it's so low level one. It's only 80. Yeah. They need a couple more punches before they really go in for it. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Thompson. Oh, he's deniable, guys. That's a that fresh new uh, change oh, for the yeah. UI. Yeah, let's you know when you can deny somebody. So Dude, someone should thinking TP about this. in and just kill him. Oh, man, he was thinking about it right there. Wraith King does manage to go down bottom, and that was the rotation. Just using the Fade Bolt with Seb Punch. It happens so quickly. Oh, Thompson. Yeah, he's taking the punches here. This is a tough lane, definitely, as we see more kills on the other I'm side. So, I'm so concerned about this death in the mid lane. I know, right? I'm also not <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm looking at right now. But it uh, does look like No Tail went down first, so more in. Uh, into Ooh. the coffers of Silencer. Chris Lock has the Mango now, as well as the Arcane Rune, so. Oh, he's thinking about it. It's all that regen from the Quas, though. Yeah. Like, up to 18 with the Tango. It's crazy. Oh, trading hits. Again. Stinger doing fine. Throw out the stun onto Jerex. Gonna get some extra right clicks out. Oh, looks like they'll be okay. But yeah, both players really knowing their limits in the mid lane. No tail, though. Again, coming under fire and just the pure damage. Like, look at that. This is what's crazy about Silencer, right? Like, he's already up to 83 damage. Yeah. And then you add on to that, of course, with right. the Glaives. Which he has two points in already. So, plus 22. So, yeah. pretty much negates, like, the armor that your opponent has. Yeah. So, down bottom, they throw out another Sun here. On to Jerex, who will go down. Uh, up top, same time, Anna. Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> oh least <God>. deaths. <laughs> yeah, they go back in. Uh, is Schofield going to chase this one down? He has another toss in a second. Could think about it, but doesn't want to push the tempo too much further. Yeah, it's expensive too, right? Like 210 for your combo. So unless you're, you're sure about something, you don't really want to spam it. Yeah. Oh, that's a value tip. 200. Ooh. Jerex with the compendium levels there. Goodness. 2651. Wow, they all have like 2,000. They need those giant Sebs. Right, exactly. That's the real reason. Meanwhile, Seb takes down Stinger. The runaway, Whisper. Oss is back underneath the tower. No Tail trying to find this kill. They will bring him down. And in fact, oh. the tip goes on to Schofield. He got his buddy killed. They almost got the uh, the double there. The uh, the actual, like, sometimes you split up like that and you don't get either. They almost got both. Yeah. Oh, they're thinking about it. No Tail. Could go in for a quick little snipe there. Tries to break the bottle. But at this five minute mark, he's going to come in and contest. Does not have the stomp. Oh, he's suiciding. Oh, That's okay. also the other thing. He just ran into the tower. Yeah. Quap gets away on 85 HP. Looks like she has a bottle queued up as well, but hasn't decided to pick it up yet. A lot of regen bought in that lane for her. And right now, 14 and 4 versus the 21 and 8 by Thompson. 
It's like a, a timber saw in that lane. It's like it feels like the dagger wasn't even worth it. Yeah, it's true. Stinger taking the punches. Will be able to walk away though afterwards. Both heroes in this bottom lane very low. And Jerex looking for the wraparound. The Fade Bolt's there, has two points in it, can try and punch him down. Trying to get right now to the Shrine, but it won't happen. They find the kill. OG, the quick move, they make it happen. So Chris Lark committed the third point into the dagger as well. It, it Whoa. just, is that, uh, that, that, man, that's tough. Yeah. And yeah. look at that. Oh God, he goes in on Dude, top of him, he breaks in. Oh, he had to oh try and get away God. and drop the loser. The loser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah. I, I think that that was one of those things maybe where he like cast blink and then yeah, the cold yeah, yeah. snap interrupted and he tried to to get past the EMP. Yeah. Meanwhile, down bottom, Ana trying to man up, see if they could hit this kill, but it is instead going to be Whisper finding the finish on a gyrocopter. They did lose Schofield. No tail, able to pick up a double. All said and done. You almost had that. Yeah, well, he still has less deaths than uh, than No Tail, I guess, but projection was not very good. Just saying. I think uh, I think our boy Thompson might wind up being the least deaths here. Yeah, that's a possibility. He's, be, he's very slippery this game. I mean, the thing that like you talk, uh, it's the exact same thing that happened before. Tries to blink away, gets interrupted. Looks like he's going to be fine for the moment though. But bottle charge to get broken there for a second. Yeah, the three points in the dagger definitely hurts. Like, it's 70 damage per second, but you've got, what, 24, 30 regen when he eats this tango? Yeah. Not great. All right, is so anything going well, though? I mean, the, the side lanes are all right for Infamous, right? Yeah. You've got a, a Silencer and a Wraith King who are uh, at least hitting some creeps here. And Gyro's gone down a couple times now, so mm -hmm. getting something done. Top definitely feels oh, like it's Stinger, the though. strongest point. Where's it, where's, it, where's it coming? Where's the Wrath? Oh, it, did, oh, it didn't make it. Oh, nice. Good dodge away from that one. Seb, summon some trees. They don't quite get that second hit, though. Didn't have the uh, the Blightstone. Needed the, the bonus damage there from that first volley of Treant damage. Still just trying to whittle down Topson, but he's regening through all of it. Top lane, they decide to go now. Whisper dodged away from the rocket barrage. Schofield moving into position. The slowdown is there. The toss as well. Oh, just got six. Rotation coming. Sonic wave the chase for it. Global, they interrupt. They find the catch. Going to get that kill. And looking for no tail afterwards. Schofield does have another toss in a second. Needs to get a target, though. Tosses in the Queen of Pain. No tail. Going to get the stomp. That actually catches onto both of them. And the courier almost goes down as well. Meanwhile, Seb finds the kill onto Whisper. He TP'd in from behind. And oh, even going to look for the chasing, courier, eh? ah, couldn't quite get it. So it ends up being a one-for-one one exchange as oh, Schofield wait. finds another. <laughs> and Jerex almost got the courier there. Poor Chris Luck. What a weird game. <laughs> There's been 19 kills, and it's nine, less than nine minutes in. Yeah, that, that's pretty insane. We got four deaths on the silencer, five deaths on the ET now. A couple of feeders. Now. They do have level six right now. Actually interrupted the stomp. They're going to save it for after world. They don't have it. They already got it, put it on cooldown. So they turn now onto the gyrocopter, try and kill him off. On a very, very low stinger, wants to finish it off. Is going to bring him down. Maybe no, oh! not quite. He's able to walk away. He walks back in to get the kill. It didn't even break the salve. Man, it's so close on these plays for Infamous. Oh. Really nice spread there from Seb. Flirting with greatness. Not quite able to finish it off. And I feel like we've seen this story before. Chris Luck in trouble as the punches continue to rain down, barely able to blink away there. Oh, he's, he's sticking around here. And yeah, he just wants to get whatever experience he can. Down bottom. Uh, they had a war behind the tower, but it was just deep water there by Stinger. Still playing very aggressive here. Have the call down in five. And uh, Thompson's on the run. He's got the wax out. He's coming. Uh, the top, no tail. Stomp going to connect onto two. Lots of damage that one on a stinger. Needs another punch here in a second. They Don't will worry, find guys. It. I'm here. <laughs> Thompson shows up to make sure he gets that kill afterwards. Typical invoker contribution. Yeah, the guy's dead. No, I'll tornado him. <laughs> I got him, guys. Don't even worry about it. 
But uh, he at least got the kill. 4,000 gold lead now. And Infamous just haven't been able to get anything done yet. I mean, Whisper is still second highest net worth in the game. I, is th we've talked about this hero snowballing. What, is, what does that look like for a silencer? Can he take over a game with this Shadow Blade uh, build? Not, not when his team is far behind. He, he's not an individual hero, right? He's a like, oh, we're all doing pretty good, and like now I have more kills, and I'm just I got beefy guys in front of me. Okay. And I wouldn't say this uh, is looking too good, but uh, perhaps they can make uh, some plays here with the, the tiny. Not not the most formidable duo to uh, to gank around with though a tiny and a Jakiro, and no. with no ice path. Oh yeah, that's a problem thing. They Although have dust. They don't have dust either. So Thompson might get his freebie here if he gets outside the range of the uh, sentry. Meanwhile, rotation going up top. So we'll keep our eyes on this mid one for a moment. But there is movement looking for that silencer kill. They won't get him. If the global oh, comes no. out, that's a nice combo there. No need for dust when he can't cast a spell. But can they bring him down? Thompson, Sonic Wave, it Ooh, doesn't man. quite hit. But they still get the kill. The DOT from Stinger. Top lane, Whisper gets dove, gets jumped. No Tail is going to drop, it looks like, here to the damage over time. Oh, but he's no, got nine quite. armor, baby. He's fine. All right. <laughs> Jeez, that bonus is helping out there. Seb's uh, Bassy, I believe, giving him the save. With that, 12 minutes in, they bring the lead down slightly, Infamous, due to 3,000 with killing the Invoker. Uh, but it looks like they will lose the tower. Don't manage to find a deny. And catching for the moment, Seb. Turns, punches, Schofield gets ran down, fade bolted for the kill. Dude, Seb is so tanky right now. He's got 46% match persistence. Just does not care. And he's going to finish at the full pipe, too. Everything for my team. All right, how do I get back in this game if I'm infamous right now? It, it's very difficult without or with Sonic Wave because that, that spell cooldown just it feels really bad. Especially because it's not even like you get 12 and you're like, okay, I can, I can be a little more active. It's like, no. 135, yeah. all levels. And uh, you're essentially trying to create space for your Wraith King. So you're reliant uh, on your Tiny mm. to rotate a lot, but he really wants his Blink Dagger as well in Schofield. Well, and I, I'm looking at this too. Like, the Queen of Pain trying to finish off this pipe, right? Like, it's any damage, even if you're trying to bring in, you know, Schofield or whatever to, to get the combination out, it's not going to be enough if you've got the pipe there yeah, already from Seb. if it's popped up, even if it's just the, the, the passive. Is, yeah. That yeah, makes it really tough. So 4,000 gold lead, but OG, this really just means that they, they're in a comfortable position. Infamous would be very tough for them uh, to take a solid fight, but if there's a way to do it, maybe it's picking off somebody at the beginning. Still no ice path here, so hard to uh, punish here uh, what OG's doing. Yeah. And instead, like, you know, they just head off to the sides, push the other lanes, try and get to that next tier of item. Jerax. Oh, the stolen global. Well, uh -oh. damn. Oh. Didn't see that one coming. Wow. Yeah, that's that's uh that's That is not a steal you're supposed to get. No. Um, and now Avalanche also, they chase forward, find themselves the kill on to Mr. Whisper. And that is going to be a tier two tower likely going down as well. That's like when a Rubik steals song and he doesn't have eggs, and you're just like, oh, my bad, guys. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it happens. Well, OG doing one of their old strats. I think a lot of people will remember this team for going late, but in the European qualifiers last year, they were finishing off games in 15 minutes from time to time. And not to say that that's the situation that we're in here, but they're looking to take firm control over this game. Well, you know, at that point, they played a lot of qualifiers. They were, That's they true. were very good at it, right? We got yeah. some opens. We, we moved past that. Yeah. And uh, I hear they played a couple games of TI, too. So uh, yeah, they're, they're figuring that out. Get uh, a little bit of the D ward there. How the Infamous take this next fight? I guess they've got Global available. All right, they missed Tornado. It's a good start. Yeah. Walk away, try to keep it fine and dandy. Global comes out as well afterwards. Whisper trading hits, but he's low on mana. Got the EMP off first, and he's going to drop. They get the kill onto the silencer, and all they get in return is the Rubik. Stinger, in the meantime, tries to TP away, and he will finish that TP. 
Yeah, he, he's playing like he's a, a support almost, where he's like throwing, like trading for another support, but getting the kill first. So like typically that's kind of good, but he's the second highest net worth on the Radiant team. Yeah. So giving away uh, quite a bit of gold there over to the Gyrocopter with that. Oh, Schofield doesn't have any mana. Needs to back away. Real deadly, and Ana, he thought about it. He thought about it. No need to uh, risk anything like that at this point, though. Midas done for the Wraith King. Still a long ways away from that Radiance. I wonder if Ana felt, uh, I guess he didn't, obviously. He just like, walked up and grabbed the point booster. But like, buying an eggs in a game like this, I almost feel like buying something that's faster. But they, they might not have an idea of just like how far ahead they are. 5k at 16 minutes, I guess. Is it, it's not GG or anything. So no. you, you definitely want to play like the safest kind of items you can. I mean, having the drums first feels nice to me, right? Yep. So, Sam has the infamous thing. <laughs> How do they do this? I guess, do they trade it every time? These teams are geniuses. It's, it's pretty next level. I like that. But, uh, yeah, so 6,000 gold lead. Um... It does feel like it's just sort of holdout mode for Infamous until at least they get the Blink Dagger up on Schofield. And then maybe you can start to go for some pickoff oriented plays. Doesn't change a whole lot, though. Yeah. Avalanche, Schofield. Oh, he's so close. God, he wants it real bad. An OG come in, take the lane away from him. Meanwhile, mid, Chris Luck. Get a little Blink stolen for Rubik. Got level three too. Nine taking CD. Mm. Real nice. There's smoke with it. So his lift is currently level three. So he's got blink lift and uh, should get the stomp in time, right? What do we got? Two point yeah. or one point six? So no. Or yes. So yes. Depending. I mean, it's one point seven. So you, you think you're gonna get it? Well, it depends on who you're trying to gank. Too. Uh, even queen though, it should it, it should be. Wraith King gets out. I don't know if Stinger is quite going to be so lucky. Tries to TP away, but the lift is going to be there. And they take down the Jakiro. Do have the Shadow Blade for Silencer. The old Slasher Way Silencer build. That's right. Going to be more of a defensive <laughs> Silencer uh, uh, yeah. Shadow Blade, I think, this time. You can see already all of these Sentry Wards that are around the map. They like You're look using it to try and initiate, but... Might not be able to do just that as they rotate in. They find that the Wraith King, the stomp follow-up comes. The Earth Splitter through. We're going to be able to walk away from him. The stun still has ulti available. And OG will back off. Yeah, oh, Jarek's still holding that blink too. Oh, does Ana know? Radiant Seems like Ana should know. They're going to wait for the Shadow Blade to come back up again, but 14 seconds. Oh, so much farm. Oh. They're not getting this XP. Yeah, they're in close. They see it now. Toss in Whisper, maybe? Or just Avalanche? Oh, Avalanche toss, lift up there, caught and killed. Ana goes down. Good use of the uh, nighttime. Yeah. Meanwhile, top lane, they do take down the Wraith King. So a trade of the carries going on there. It's Chris Got Luck. him with the EMP, too. Oh, no. This is, tr this is a big problem. Is there any cold sap? There's no blink. It was on cooldown. They take down the Queen of Pain. Oh, man. Oh, that one hurt. They just got something going their way, too. Getting that kill onto Ana, but Jack's even blinking behind here, seeing if he can catch an extra one. And they will throw a ward onto the high ground, too, while he's here with the Aether Lens. Makes it very easy. Absolutely perfect. So, Schofield, he's got his blink dagger. Um, one of the nice things about this type of oh. line. Oh, God. Yeah. All right. Tornado lift up. EMP, and they've got the cold snap afterwards with the DOT coming in from that spirit vessel. Avalanche thrown back against him. They get the kill. They do a moonwalk on out of there. Man. They are looking good. OG is doing it here. Yeah, right into the Roche Pit. Uh, I think they have the Agnums. I guess it's uh, all the way back in the stash, though. Yeah, it should be coming. Gyro? Looks like it's on the Courier. Yeah, oh, it's there coming it is. out. Okay. Now. But worth noting, one of the best heroes to throw Alacrity on, uh, the Invoker. A little bit worse when you've only got one point next sword, but, you know, I'll get taken care of eventually. Yeah, 9,000 gold lead, 12 to 24. Yeah, and Infamous just 
very much struggling. It's going to be really tough to hold on to high ground in this one. I guess the goal is still going to be let's try and hold out for Rage King Aghanims and let the skeletons do sp split push stuff. Is that what they're looking for here? Uh, I don't know about Wraith King Aghanims. Maybe Radiance. No, sorry. Wraith King Radiance. My bad. <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's bleak. There's no doubt about that. But uh, I, I, uh, you got to do it. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it, it's very tough. They they don't have great high ground defense, right? They they have blink toss. That's pretty good. They have the Jakiro who's starting to get those points up into the ice path. He's really trying to get. Uh, uh, is he really gonna hold that tome to level 15? I don't think that's a play. Just pop the tome, dude. Come on. Surely that uh, next level of ice path being used more times to 15 is gonna be more worth the 40% XP gain. But you know what? Stinger don't think so. So he's holding that thing. I don't even think you're gonna get to level 15, dude. Yeah, might not. Avalanche toss. They caught one. Again, that's a good way to get this stuff working. Whisper get a little bit more there in terms of the int. No tail looking for the stomp. Schofield is the one caught. Can they fight this? Whisper has global. The turnaround, it comes around. They already have this invoker in a little bit of trouble, but there's no extra follow-up. Sonic Wave comes through. Almost enough to get the kill. That was weird. Jerry's Big win. Back. And Ana now jumps forward. Stinger, they're able to get the ice path off onto two. All right, this is a good fight for OG if they can finish it off, though. Need to find another one. But Chris Luck gets the blink away to the other side. And now if you can disengage from Infamous, which they do, that's a huge win. Yeah, just uh, kind of odd when you have the, uh, the Aegis like that and there was nothing to gain and there's still, like, a ton of time on the Aegis. I'm not sure if Jarek's really needed to buy back. It looks like he made 11 gold and got some XP, so. Okay. Not a big deal. Well, Relic is done now for Wraith King as well. And our man going to go finish this stuff off as soon as can be. It's something to be concerned about, right? Like, Because the, the level's difference can start to even out very quickly with the comeback mechanic. That is true. If you can win that big team fight, but that, that is so hard to do for Infamous. Yes. Like, they're, they're going to get like one kill, two kills kind of a deal, but I think a five-man wipe looks nigh impossible. I mean, how much do you think this Radiance matters in the, in the fights? Do, do you think that much at all? Uh, yeah, it definitely matters. It has a, a lot of uh, damage negation because of the uh, the gyrocopter, as well as like all the treants and everything. If they were right clicking you, you're at 17 percent just on everything. Uh, so it certainly helps helping to clear away those treants too, help increase his farm speed. So uh, it it can't just like straight up win you a fight though. I don't think it's that strong. Oh look at this! They are separating the two, but Schofield. They realized that that was the real Tiny and now going to be able to get him. They have a toss back, but it can't use it. Buyback is there from Tiny if they want to use it. Already controlling Ana. Needs to back away. But it, Jakiro is also dead, but he got down the macro pyre. And Ana actually is going to tick down, it looks like, here. Didn't want to pop the wand. I guess there's no way to heal him back up, right? How many Vessel charges? I have three Vessel charges, but whatever. Hey, there, there was a lot of time. It was, well, it was a minute and a half. I guess it's not like that much time left. Yeah. I mean, whatever the case, it stops this push, at least for now. So Infamous buying themselves time, and, you know, that Radiance done now on the Wraith King, this is potentially a moment. I guess we're going to try and lead things off here. Nazme sentries plop down this time. I don't even see any, or dust right now uh, on OG, at least in this area, of course. So, had they found something there, maybe a potential opportunity. Global is back off cooldown again. No, oh, Radiant Sentry. Sees Thompson coming. Got to be careful, careful, careful. BKB is not available right now, and the silence is there onto several. Schofield could go for a toss play if he wants to at this point. Stinger throws down the macro pyre, and the ice path afterwards. Thompson turning onto Chris Luck. There's a huge amount of damage out, but they managed to find that silence out as well. The stun onto Thompson. Sonic Wave connects, gets the kill. Blink away by one. He does have his ulti still. Well, chasing forward, eats his way through, turns on a no-tail, finds that catch and kill. Three dead from OG. Infamous, making it happen. And they uh, pop a couple of buybacks there too on the, uh, the silence from the Jakiro, so maybe they can try and get their lanes pushed out. But uh, lots of gold there uh, to the, the Wraith King, 759. And uh, plenty of XP, as you said, in terms of like, his comeback mechanics. He got 2,260 on the Wraith King. 
Putting it off to uh, the same level in XP as the Gyrocopter. So in fact, he's actually a little bit ahead of him now. And might even crack level 18 first. <laughs> it's looking spicy. You know, they're not, they're not wrong. It's, it's looking close. I, I will say that once those BKBs come out on OG, it does change a lot. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, no doubt about that. Just makes uh, Whisper much less effective. Same thing with Digikiro. Pretty much everyone is way less effective once the BKBs <laughs> yeah. are there. And Chris Luck finally going towards that uh, Aghanims. Hard call if he has to get the BKB or the Eggs first. I think the BKB is like playing to lose almost, or just like Eggs is playing to win, you know? Yeah. As, as Kyle would say. Well, and he buys the point booster. No going back. Yep. Got the Ogre Club. It might have been a different situation. It does, I, I mean, I'm still not really sure how to evaluate this game if it goes that much later. I mean, does Gyrocopter just become the be-all, end-all carry, or is that Wraith King once he gets 20 uh, and no longer has to worry about his ulti not being popped? I would be more concerned about OG, just like overall map control and pressure. Uh, the the Invoker is pretty ridiculous with like the speed that he gets while he's just zooming around yeah. uh, and able to initiate really easily onto anyone who's trying to keep up with the split push that OG's gonna have in this game. They're doing a good job, though, right? They have Schofield now, who they're all shadowing down bottom, forcing Seb to come back and uh, try and defend with Trance. They might go for a kill here. Oh, this would it's be big tough if they could the get blink it. on the Wraith King, though. And yeah, he's just out. He's like, nah, there's, there's wave top. Instead, cut through that creep wave, throw the tree at him afterwards, because why not? And now 11,000 gold lead. Uh, BKB is coming out for no tail as well. Classic uh, ET build. Yeah. But I, I like what Infamous is doing. They're they're keeping these lanes pressured out. They know that that's the way that OG are eventually going to just strangle them away as if they don't have any presence on the map. And Jarek's also about 1,600 gold away from his Aghanim Scepter. So I'll be Gibby's. Oh. He stuck around too long. <laughs> Dies to Seb. Feels it necessary. Makes sense. Oh, Seb. Is he coming in? He's got TP. He's got Scythe. Have to be careful. He was thinking about it for sure. But almost level 20 now. Can make all the difference in the world. For this Wraith King, as he does get the no reincarnation mana cost. Should always get his ultimate off. Roche capable of responding in about eight seconds. We'll see how long that timer is. But it feels like if Infamous can get to this next tier of items, uh, it does really change the way that they're capable of taking fights. It's a, a very fast one here. Only about 20 seconds until Roche will be back up. Oh, they see Ana. BKB immediately answered. Uh, and going to be able to get the global off afterwards. So still silence for the moment. They're going to TP away. Does mean no global for the Roche fight. And Seb chasing, managed to find themselves. Stinger, Avalanche, interrupt, but it's not going to be enough to keep this Shakiro alive. Dead for 70. There's no way out of that. No, uh, no four staffs, right? Does not look like it. Oh, and Silencer's actually going to be going back for... Wait a minute. Okay, so he bought the Ogre Axe to get the BKB, but now he's going for the four staff in what, uh, instead. Yeah. Uh, they didn't need one. Yeah. With, with the Hex now being out. They going Hex going like Wraith King even. Mike in a bad spot. Yeah, I know, right? Once you see those two <laughs> items, you're like, wait a second. <laughs> well, the lead um, has not grown that much for OG at this point, right? Mm -mm. It's been uh, kind of stable around the 12, 13K mark for uh, a bit here, but they're uh, just constantly keeping this pressure on the base, and now they can just kind of go Roche. So that'll certainly turn into an issue here for Infamous soon. Good steal from Jerax too, just one of those free ones you can often get from the Wraith King. Down bottom, they got Whisper. Already a Sentry Ward in the area. This man is going to the grave. 70 seconds. Roche is back up. OG haven't decided to go check it yet. I saw a Seb start TPing in. Okay. But I uh, didn't finish it off. But meanwhile, Ana's just in their base. Well, they thought about going for it. Avalanche, interrupt. Thor splitter. 
Find that stun. Oh, good tornado onto two. Now the EMP completely out of mana. Schofield going to be tickled down in the end. Spirit Vessel not enough to keep him alive. Also going to lose that Wraith King. Now a little bit of trouble. The Stomp. BKB turns to fight. Gets the stun there onto Ana. BKB is still available for Ana if he wants. But nothing coming yet. Good lift up. And now that Queen of Pain just goes to the grave. No chance to cast a Sonic Wave either. And that is why you sometimes need the BKB on that hero. Uh, nonetheless, a full set of racks going the way of OG here at 30 minutes into it, and they're looking for more. They're chasing forward for this Wraith King. They know he don't has, doesn't have ulti again. So instead, it's a pressure down towards the bottom tier three tower next. And Queen does not want to buy back. She's close to her Agnes, but she's forced to. Yeah, and there's just not that much damage coming out at all. Ana with the Alacrity on top of him, gets the blink forward. And as soon as the buyback comes, OG runs away. Discipline Dota. Perfect. Yeah, you know the chase is very <laughs> unlikely uh, with the Wraith King needing so much time to come back. And they still have Roche to look back on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aghanim Scepter done for Jerex. And it does feel like that Roche fight is going to be the next big one that comes about. And they'll have Global for that on the side of Infamous. But OG looking very, very good in this. Seb just uh, keeps it up, right? Keeps pressuring, keeps pushing. And uh, the constant pressure of the mid lane is one of those things that's going to start breaking down on Infamous. Creeps are there right now. They see a Silencer. They see a Queen of Pain. They say instantly free Roche. So they're going to try and smoke and get there. Scofield pulls it out. He pops it. Hey, this is definitely halfway. This feeling like a desperation type of play here. They're, they're going to have global, but th this OG's team is just so strong right now. Thompson's in position. He does have Lotus Orb to deal with the silence also. A good avalanche toss combination coming out, but this is on an H property. Super tanky. Seb just goes for the walk away, keeping him alive. And Wraith King tries to run forward, but he's not doing nearly enough damage here as they just completely eviscerate him one time through. The Queen of Pain is already dead. They pull Schofield in only to bring him back down. And Ana pops the BKB, finds the kill. OG, oh, too freaking good. And Whisper will take down Seb. But it comes at a cost as he too is going to the grave. You almost had that. Yeah, there at uh, the very least. And GG. No... Oh, that, that's just done. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Felt uh, felt like they were on the the long clawback for quite a while there. Yeah. Side of infamous. Well, OG retaining some strength. They, as we talked about earlier, went one one in the earlier series against Navi and come in and win the first game against Infamous. Uh, feeling very, very good about themselves right here. Yeah, uh, a very uh, chat spam heavy <laughs> matchup here for us. And it's only game one. There will be another one, of course, here right after this one. But uh, lanes, the lanes for Infamous. Uh, we had the uh, the silencer. Uh, it, it was like it was a lot of trading back and forth, which yeah. I thought would be okay, right? Because uh, he ended up with like 10 int pretty early on. The gyrocopter died twice. Uh, and he was top of the net worth for his team for a long while. The problem was the next closest hero on the rating team was, I think, under half of the uh, the silencer at one point. Yeah. It was like 6K, and they were like 2,800 sort of a deal. So uh, needed something on the side lanes. The the death on the Queen of Pain was pretty painful. I so, yeah. see what he's trying to do, right? Because if you make totally. that blink, you get out of the EMP. Now he doesn't have the tornado because like, you can't go on the invoker while he has tornado anyway. Mm -hmm. So if he uses tornado and EMP and you dodge it like that and you still have your spells, he might have gotten the kill. That puts him EXP, gold advantage in the lane, and maybe that changes the, the outcome of this game. Like That's the high-pressure situations you get when totally. you're playing mid. Well, it's it's an all-or-nothing play, and the unfortunate yeah. thing was that he got nothing that time, um, which is why it looked really bad, but you can understand the, the, the desire to go for everything, right? Yeah, you see how it happens. Exactly. Um, and aside from that, the uh, the I think the like the kill duo of Jakiro and Tiny seems really hard to execute. Like, y you know Wraith is going to be farming. Right. You know Silencer is a core, so he, like, wants to be fighting and, like, putting out damage, but he needs a lot of bodies in front of him. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if, like, Queen, Jakiro, Tiny are the three heroes that make that life easy for Whisper. I mean, th the other thing there uh, as well is just I think that that also is a lineup that makes a lot of space for people. That's the, the goal for it, right? Yeah. Um, but normally you do that by, like, having a Tiny that tosses in that other hero or something like that, right? So you can get that initial initiation. Um and then it's like a Naga or an Arc Warden or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, so tough stuff there.
All right, well, we'll see. Uh, if I had to guess how they'll adjust, uh, I still have the Schofield Tiny. Uh, probably, I'm looking more at, like, Whispers here. I don't know about the Silencer. Uh, we'll see if yeah. they if they try that again. Maybe they think it's it's going to be a good game, but I'm kind of thinking, like, more of, like, an initiator sort of role. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a few minutes. TI9 continuing here on the C-Stream. We'll see you guys in just a few for game number two.
Oh, hello, all you fine, beautiful, wonderful Dota people out there in the wonderful world that we exist in. I don't know. Uh, we're here. Game number two right around the corner. Didn't think it's, that one through, did you? It's Just kind of <laughs> started coming out. And there you were. Yeah, exactly. You found it. Uh, we're back. Second game. OG took match number one. Pretty stompy. That's started out very bloody. Mm. That is for sure. Uh, but we're into the draft. So come along and see. It looks familiar. It's Alchemist and uh, Triant here once again. Okay. And uh, we'll see uh, what the teams do. But uh, so, what, so what happened? We had uh, lanes. They had pretty good laning heroes for the most part from the side of Infamous. But only one of the lanes went okay. And I would say that would be the, the Silencer lane, right? Where he was he was popping off. Mm -hmm. Pretty high net worth. I would agree. Got a couple of kills. We had the Bolivian Sensation that's mm -hmm. sweeping the nation. Ooh. Mr. Whisper making moves. Now that would have been an intro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you should have been thinking about that during that long break. We had the teams took a breather. Yeah, they were figuring things out. Can't blame us this time. Haha. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're we're ready to go. And uh, OG, they're gonna respect it. They're saying, you know what? They had one hero that came out okay by ten minutes. Let's ban it and see what whispers got. I think they're doing them a favor, personally. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think that like, it 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 was a good hero in the laning stage. And I think that if you're gonna try and beat this OG team. You need to stomp it from there. So I would have said that you probably do want to go back to the silencer again for Infamous and maybe just shore up some of the other lanes. To me, Queen of Pain taken fourth was maybe a little bit too greedy. Like, I was thinking about, all right, who who could really own this Quap in lane? And they could have gone for, like, a Puck, but it turned out that the, the Invoker was a perfect answer, too, because he just out regened all of the harassment that Quap put on him with that Quas build. Yeah, Puck, the DK as well is another one you yeah. can stop for, too. Like, I feel like it's a hero that needs to make a lot of stuff happen early on on the Queen of Pain, and basically taking it that early meant that there were these counters in so far as, like, either A, ways to kill her, or B, ways to outregion her, or in the case of Volker, both. Yeah, I actually have being a bit of an issue. Yeah. Ogre and... What are we missing here? Oh, the Chen. That's the other one. Oh. OG have the first pick, so I'm pretty sure Infamous are going to ban it. Is there anything from the last game that's worthy of banning instead? I don't think so. No. I don't think ET really qualifies. I think Chen just makes the most sense. I'm not giving OG Chen when I'm already down a game. Yeah, that that to me is like the biggest thing. Is That's a hero that you, you have to play a whole other style. I think it's better to like iterate and make the the draft that you had better going into game number two as opposed to having to play this whole other style of Dota. I like to see OG just uh, IO here, I think, right? Because they're banning the Silencer too. Okay. Uh, which is one of those more helpful heroes versus the IO plus one. Ooh. So they feel like that was the hero that made so many of the problems happen. So now the Magnus is... <laughs> <laughs> they banned the Nation of Robin and then Seth. Who said that? <laughs> oh, it was Jerax. That's pretty good. Nice. So, yeah, there's the mag. Because um, that was first phase ban last time, and now OG are going to be like, okay. Now thanks. they get one of Chen or Io also, if they want to do it. I think it's much more likely that they take the Chen on OG second pick. Yeah. If they wanted the mag, they had to pick it. Uh, I don't even know if they'll take the Chen at this point. No? Not necessarily. Absolutely. If they want the Absolutely Ember, they'd perfect. have to pick it. Even though if it's, it's looking, uh, looking it, it could be two cores speed. or it could be a Jerax mag as well. Hmm. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, it's a possibility. I, I feel like it's much more likely to be Seb, but yeah, we'll see. I really liked support mag during the qualifiers, though. Support yeah. mag seemed a lot better than core mag. I, I would completely agree with you. But now you on I feel that. like everyone's like started to work out a, a core mag build. It seems, mm -hmm. and uh, we've moved in towards that. Uh, I see it trending more towards offlane in the pubs, too. My boy. Now, that's more <laughs> like it. I am always into the Disruptor. Uh, maybe it was a hero. They were, they might have been thinking about IO counters or something. Yeah. And been like, well, get get the Disruptor. But uh, the uh, who, who's that? Who do we always say counters? The Magnus, because you get the RP and then you... Uh, somebody. Just keep talking. Yeah, I'll figure it out eventually. Don't I don't worry. know. Uh, but... ABBA? No, there's some hero that like he RPs your whole team, and then you just pop this stun because, and then like he can't skewer them. Man, what am I thinking of? I don't know, but I've lost it. Either way, your team gets RP'd. You got a little bit of help there with the disruptor um, to like stack storm to like stop the follow up so you can't skewer out. It's one of the more helpful things. Maybe I'm thinking of global. I don't know. Either way, um, they have a very vision based Nyx. lineup. 
Um, maybe it was Nyx. I'm not sure. Uh, I would really like to see a Templar Assassin banned from OG in the next phase. Because when I see Disruptor and Spirit Breaker, I instantly think TA because you just trap people. Um, so whenever there's traps anywhere, you walk past TA trap, you just get glimpsed or you get charged. Yeah. Wow, and they're going to second pick it. I wonder if this could be that flex pick too. Yeah, I don't know. Jerex, that would be pretty hype. Support Invoker. He could definitely play it. Do you think Jerex <laughs> hmm. could play any hero? Yeah. Probably. The yeah, guy's pretty good so. at Dota. You know, he's a TI winner. I think some he of is. these guys are on OG. Ten seconds remaining. I was talking about watching back through that documentary again. It, mm. it That one and the Red Bull one really sold me on how much, how important Jerex was to that win. <laughs> like, a couple of those calls he made in the game were like, yes, A++. You know, like the, the Hexa... Hexagon behind OG. Yeah. They should have replaced it with an Aegis. They should have just yes. like, they should have yes. been like, you know what? We won this thing. That's just true. slapping on the banner for this TI. Be like, yo, y'all remember? Y'all remember this? Don't I'll call see it, it again. A comeback. Yeah, We've been there here all year. That would have been good. That's what they should have done the, the comeback video for Ana. That would have been wonderful. <laughs> just some, some LL Cool J. I thought they should have like, you know how they had like ILTW and then I think PyCat after that, right? Yeah. They should have just like, been in the booth for one of the games, and then suddenly the stadium music starts playing, and then one of the cast be like, "Oh, that's honest music!" <laughs> and then they just kick, like he comes in with a chair, and Pie Cat's just out of there. Anna <laughs> sits down. Yeah. Um. All right, Infamous oh. got Templar Assassin though. Hey, you guys ready for this? Boom. Dun, I mean, they even have Invoker. Are they just like mad baiting this? Maybe. Because this is like too good. If if you know, this is one of those like hundred percent guarantee this phase. Venom Infamous are taking a TA. Look at this. They're even blocking the Veno pick. I'm getting worried. They're blocking the Veno pick. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, what they're doing? That's what it is. It's coming. <laughs> Y'all wait and see. I think that I would agree that TA sounds very good, but I also, uh, I, I guess the, the one thing that I worry about with it is if this invoker ends up being like the Swapperino, right? And then you end up bringing in a different hero for the mid lane. That would be the one thing I'd be worried about. Yeah, it's still TA. I mean, that's Liquid, Liquid first picked it. Every, I guess she's she's worse now because she doesn't have the denies. Maybe that's yes. enough to like ruin this. I don't know. She still seems pretty strong, but she she definitely fell from like first phase to like eight, nine, ten kind of deal. I want to say that I really like the infamous strategy here going into it. Like just the the mentality change of all right, we lost that last one. That sucks. Let's take some run at you, Dota. Yeah. I like that a lot. I wasn't sure if they're gonna take Abba or um, or Oracle. So I wanted a dispel. That, yes. that I love here from OG. I I kind of liked the Abba, but uh, Oracle's good too. Oracle's got the longer range. It's a little bit safer. I often feel like with Abba, they play it, pair it together with like a hero that just scales into the crazy late game, and you just ensure that they have a really good lane. OG, yeah. they can kind of play a little bit more fast paced if they take it with the Oracle, because you could play with like a Huskar, or a DP, or one of those other like get things done type of hero. So if you guys are like, man, why is Dispel even good here? Um, you can dispel the uh, the Thunderstrike from the Disruptor. You can dispel Gale now these days, which was quite the change. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there you go. Those are the big ones. And then uh, Spirit Breaker, of course, is very obnoxious too, but I'm um, more focused on the, uh, the friendly stuff. Yeah. Well, and I, I think that just like as far as the, the whole mentality of how does this, um, how does this like lineup work? It's like run at you with Spirit Breaker, find the vision, glimpse back, you play an aggressive, so if somebody TPs to try and defend, you can glimpse them away. It's like a lot of, a, a lot of different things that, uh, just sort of work together towards towards Infamous trying to be on the front foot. This is the... I think I banned TA. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> okay. They have last pick. I like the idea of saving the mid till last. Yeah, you got the it last doesn't pick. have to be TA. I know I like harping on it, but th there's other options and answers. So yeah. uh, this... Let's go joke. This should be oh, your one. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I mean, there's Life Sealer, but they have the RP... They take the ABBA. Okay. Interesting. So three ABBA is what this is looking like. It could also be a one ABBA. I think it's Yo, three. Everybody pronounces it ABBA or Abaddon or Abaddon. 
and I just said something completely different. Yeah, I don't know what you even <laughs> said. I was talking about like the group. I'm like, <laughs> Barbie World. Is that the one they do? No, they no, do a different one. No, that's not even close. I think you're like the dancing like queen. That's three the one. decades off. <laughs> but solid Mr. effort. Mr. Postman. <laughs> that's ABBA, definitely. No, I I like this. You ever seen Mamma Mia? That's quality. That's, I have that's some good ABBA. Yeah, you should watch Mamma Mia. Okay. Well, actually, I've never seen the movie. I just saw a local production. But well, here good. we go again into a last pick. Ah, there you go. You like that? Yeah, you're figuring it out. I like Huskar here. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Just go at him. I mean, they actually don't have that many stuns. Hey, there you go. Oh. It's like mini Huskar. He's got the same kind of weapons. He's a lot shorter. Yeah, we got the Muskar here. We got the Dispels. Oh, it's real good. It used to be so solid against, or it used, Venomancer used to be so solid against against Slark, because uh, of Poison Sting. But now, just take that little little sucker off of there. Yeah. They do have the uh, Static Storm though, which is a little obnoxious. Same thing with the Spear Breaker, you know that. No, not perfect Slark game, but uh, Abba, you just you know he pops his ulti. You're like, okay, thank you for the stats. This is a good trade for me. I don't mind if you get some more HP. And Magnus empowering him the whole time through, too. Banning the Monkey King. So Monkey King Medusa comes to mind. So they're reading this as the Jerex Invoker as well. Yes. Assuming it's going to be the, the Thompson MK or whatever pick. Because uh, they still need a uh, another... Well, they don't need another Empower Hero, I guess, right? Because they have the Slark. Um, this was the Faceless Classic, by the way. Some C dotes. Oh, yeah. Way back whack. Yeah. So what do they need then? Like, well, Ember's gone, MK's gone, Jug's gone. Do they go like Arc Ward in here? Or you something? don't need another physical hero. Yeah. So, uh, I think they, if this is a a support JRX Invoker, then like Tower Pressure seems kind of good. I don't know if DK is Pugna. That's the old classic for him. Uh, there. Uh, I don't like Pugna versus Disruptor and Speedbreaker yeah. though. Too much catch. Okay. I think I think DK's okay. Good BKB builder. It's a very good BKB game. Doesn't feel like a Topson hero, but that is extremely true. I'll give you that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> very much so. Yeah, he's he's always been known for those like more <laughs> weird niche um, heroes. Ooh, the Spectre. I almost feel like this is going to be a Jerex hero. Yeah. Okay. I think that's a Jerex Tiny. That makes sense. But, you know, they, they still have options here, of course, depending on what uh, Infamous got. All right, is it TA? Has it all come to fruition? I think they just take a safe lane here and put Venom mid. Like, he doesn't do that bad against Invoker, I don't think. But what's the, what's the point? I mean, they need some, like, super hard carry at this point. I mean, that's why they banned Spectre, I guess. Yeah. I guess a Slark. I mean, Void definitely comes to mind here. Yeah. Right? They don't have... They they have the, the single target save of the Oracle. <gasps> <gasps> they done it! They done it. So we, we've been waiting. Yes. Uh, for these core Pudges. And uh, we were hoping for the safe lane Pudge. Yes. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. See exactly where this one goes. Oh, baby. It's Jarek's Invoker. Hype. Very hype. I love this. Uh, so we were we were talking about it earlier. Uh, the the buildup for support invoker is so much fun. Like mm. they, I think uh, if you guys have never played invoker, I I do think you, you watch some support invoker games. I think it's a good way to learn the hero. Yes. Because first off, you, you have to cast less spells, which is great, right? Uh, and it's it's pretty clear cut. The build's super easy. Uh, it's very one dimensional. Like sure, there's some adjustments from game to game, but the build's just so solid where you basically just go bassy. Maybe get some fairy fire, some tangos and stuff. You break it down, you get a medallion, you get an urn, and that that's pretty self explanatory. Right? You go around, you get kills, mm -hmm. you build up, you cold snap, you earn. Well and I, it's I fun as heck. I, I, I really wanna like sort of not harp, but I wanna talk a lot about those two picks in particular, the invoker and the Pudge, because I think that there's a lot of people that tune into TI, they don't watch a ton of pro games, they definitely don't watch a ton of like <laughs> pubs, perfect. which is the main place mm -hmm. that we've been seeing this blow up. So tell me about this idea of, uh, you talked a little bit about the Invoker, tell me yeah. a little bit about the Pudge. The Pudge uh, made is what we're going to see I got here. some more issues with the Pudge, Okay. Uh, especially the safe lane Pudge. The mid Pudge I'm a little more okay with, 
Uh, Pudge has ridiculous base damage early. So he starts with a really hard right click in the laning stage, um, especially like if you want to add a Quelling Blade, but oftentimes you don't even have to, mm -hmm. uh, which means that he can get a lot of denies. He can make it really hard for you to farm there. Uh, and then, of course, he just secures a lot of last hits for himself, which equals early gold Absolutely and early levels. Perfect. And Absolutely you're perfect. essentially like an anti-carry. Like, sure, you're not the hardest scaling guy yourself, but you're going to be shutting down someone else just by being in their vicinity this whole time. And look at that beautiful persona. It's terrifying. Also, why does he just have the one tough to pair sticking out? That weirds me out. Tough. Yeah. I don't think those numbers... Oh, actually, that might be correct. That's a lot of games at Dota. That's those pro players, man. That's a player. And Schofield's been around for so long. Yes. It's crazy. So yeah, so that's the. Those are the two things that I think are probably the most uh, crazy in, in this game is going to be the Pudge mid. He is starting with a Clan Blade, um, so I'm going to try and fight against the voice of Kyle yelling through. But 24 melee damage. You're up to what is this now? 96 as a base uh, against the Tiny, who granted does have the tree throw. Yeah. Um, he's got a little bit of help with the branch, or now the sword with the prestige item back online. Uh, but we'll see how well that mid pudge works out. I would say uh, you're just really happy that you're not laning against it if you're Slark. That's, a <laughs> that's what I would think. Yeah. Oh, Stinger. Interesting build on the Disrupt here. The quad mango. Interesting. I mean, I, I love spamming uh, some Thunderstrike. No doubt about that. I, I kind of like the... Uh, ah, hey. got him! Jerax, the strats, tosses up the balloon, <laughs> finds somebody. Likes what he's seeing. Oh, you see these pings, though? Chris Luck's pinging. He's like, mm, I think they might have a ward there. I don't know. Beats the balloon back away. Seb, oh, does he take the E? Skewer somebody? No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, try and go for the, the cliff. I mean, that is worth if you can hit it. Mm -hmm. Oh, infamous. Looking like they're going to pick up three here. Did take a lot of harassment, and Ana is going to make the full rotation down bottom. Schofield, he's actually, he took Bash first. He's dead. They Schofield's got, done. Yeah, he's dead. Ooh, no tail gets the kill, though. Oops. Nah, it's fine. Not Agi. a big deal at all. Get a Parmiagi for Ana. Do you like so that? That's a nice first bloodline. Yeah. That's, a, that's quite the strat from Whisper here, guys, by the way. You see this? Yeah. So he suicided to body block it under the tower to guarantee push the wave. That's wild. He also was able to deny two last hits because of that. Well, the funny thing is that he has Curse of Avernus, though. Yeah. So, like, he didn't even have the... Because, like, if you had miscoil, you you could just deny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he had to do it the other way around, and it hadn't been 30 seconds. So did he... Why does he have Curse of Avernus? Well, he's core, right? So I guess that his thought is, like, he doesn't want to have to deny himself as a core. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little I, I different. I guess they, they were probably just trading before we were watching, I That's assume. probably the biggest thing. Top, yeah, I'm sure that's why. Is it dispellable as well? It is. So yeah. if you time it right with Ana, um, you won't get hurt by that silence at all. That part's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's pretty awful versus Slark and uh, Oracle. Yeah. You can even do like the precast thing of your Q on yourself <laughs> with the, uh, the yeah, faith. That's very true. Fortune Zen, rather. Well, so far, so good. Oh, the tornado skewer. Oh. That's brutal. Yeah, you're you're probably dead. He bought out. He's like, Man. yeah, I think I'm gone, guys. But, dude. All right. So again, everybody, this is support invoker. Um, Look, you guys could have done that. Yeah. Just throw a tornado, coal snap him, boom, easy. And then if you don't get the skewer back, flame your mag. Yeah, then not on you. <laughs> so last hits in the mid lane, six and five versus the uh, seven and four. So a lot of denies coming out from both of these players. But the nice part about this now is gonna try and go for the rot play, tops in, gets one tower shot onto him. But you get the six health regen, just base uh, with the passive. Dude, he did it. No tail did it. You oh see yeah, that? He, he did the self cast yeah. timing, yeah. That's sick. And Ana does have another round, as they will have another Fortune's End in a second. Oh Although they got the though. silence, he's in trouble. He just goes down. And he gets the kill first. Okay. 
Well, that works. I think that was just the, the added attack speed you get from it. Um, they weren't quite there and ready in time. So pretty nice little play there. Hold snap again, onto Hector. Pull back in this man, Stinger. Has to play interrupt and, oh, they're actually gonna stick onto him now with the little kinetic feel laid down. There's a lot of spam in this lane though. Disruptor and uh, Venomancer, it's like constant poison. The, the first uh, couple levels for Venomancer are just awful though. You feel so useless. the two up and sting at least there isn't a spell in this lane that they really have to worry about at all that is true they they did get that matchup jack's taking a lot of damage up top here too trying to get some mana back oh 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 stinger he's got the booties don't do it oh you're crazy it's danger oh the lift up is coming seb pulls him back in and the skewer the punch gets the kill although it might come at a cost jerex no, poison sting stick. yeah it keeps him alive such value Oh, in the meantime, able to find the hook back onto Thompson there, who did bottle up the uh, Invis run. <laughs> Come on, give him a high five. Aww. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> in the meantime, Oracle down bottom does go down here. We can blame Thompson for that one, I think. That's fair enough. The people Good bash. wanted the high five. Good bash. He doesn't have Dark Pack. And the Silence, they get the deny. Schofield gets the kill. Dude, Whisper is playing him. Look at this guy. Plays pretty damn well. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, though, that's a, uh, a pretty high HP tiny taking down a, uh, a Pudge there. He's got with the combo. And now that's at the, the five minute mark here, too. So, Jax, can you? I don't think you can contest this guy. He just walks up, sees who's around. Okay, they're, they're both coming. That, that will contest him. That is for sure. Yeah, Stinger has to try and commit for both <gasps> bounties at this point. Oh, that's nice. I like it. Tornado, though? To get it. He didn't, he didn't offer for it. Yeah. Didn't have the range, I guess. Oh, he wants so to kill. So Infamous get four bounty runes off of that. That's real nice. That puts him in the lead. Yeah. Very well done. Whisper looks like he's going to take a little bit of me time here. And will run into No Tail as he pulls the creep wave back behind the tower. And that should give Ana some free time of his own. Hector going for the Tranquil Boots. That is pretty annoying. But the charge through is coming now. And they're trying to whittle them away a little bit. Eyes focused onto Seb. No points up in Glimpse as of yet. And yeah, it looks like they're going to call off that charge. <laughs> that voice line is insane. <laughs> I just don't know where it came from. No, like, who did that. that? I have no idea. <laughs> we'll have to ask somebody later. That was, that was actually a uh, player audio from a TI game. Mm, yeah. Got it. Cinnarin's voice changed a lot. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Jax, I think, is completely fine here. Baiting him in. Yeah. Scofield has charge. Should be fine. Yeah. Does manage to connect it. He's so slow. Yeah, that's pretty sad. He's just walking away from him for the moment. The wraparound coming for Whisper now. Still just the one point up in the Mist Coil, but the three points in a Fodic, but. <gasps> oh, couldn't quite get it. Yeah, and he does go down. So Thompson gets that kill. DD Rune was popped there as well. Immediately back to the mid lane, too. So, what's the point where you start seeing some Pudge rotations? Uh. Kind of never. I don't know. You don't really rotate that early with this Pudge, I don't think. Like. You, maybe you TP and stuff for fights like under tower, but unless you like see a good rune, I think you just mostly want to uh, deny your opponent the mid lane. Okay. It doesn't work that well with the tiny though, as you can see, because he's actually ahead of him in terms of CS, both last hits and denies. Maybe with a couple bracers we'll see him smoke. Okay. Just play the bla bracer life. I like the Shivas on this mid pudge too. It's a pretty good game for it as well. Well, so far, so good. Uh, it's a little bit less than a 1,000 gold lead for Infamous. And I'm not really sure, like, if you convert this to last game, at this point, it was almost up to, like, 20 kills. Yeah. 
it's been much more passive, which is not what I was expecting given the opening that Infamous had of going for the Spirit Breaker into Disruptor. I would say Spirit Breaker is not that happy with how his game's going. Yeah. Schofield gets the catch, gonna pull Seb back in. In some trouble there after the glimpse. Whisper will go down, but they find a kill in return. So both offlaners bite in the dust. Yeah, and that's a, a kill with it, the ultimate there from Ana too. So it's not like they can just like try and rotate the pudge and uh, see if they can punish him or something instead. Mid lane. They do see that charge coming through. Pull him back in. Bash afterwards, possibly. Chris Luck running away, able to dodge away from that tornado. Does have another hook round if he wants to get it and pull him back in. They're thinking about the very least. Good body blocks coming through as well, but they uh. end up missing on the hook and. Well, they will have another aquatic shield in a second to try and keep their buddy alive. Skullfield goes down. But they do take down the Tiny as well, and Whisper making a lot happen here. He's coming. Yeah, he's got himself another Mist Coil. No tail. It's got brought him. down. Well played. Hit him with the tips. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, top lane, Hector. Getting chased down by Ana here. We'll be able to take down the Poison Sting in a second. Slow down, come in. And that Venomancer is going to drop. Going for the 0-4-4 build on that Veno. Probably just thinking about the dispels and everything. Uh, not trying to shove out the waves, really. Uh, see if he can hold his towers, too. Doesn't have a, uh, a Bassy, though. So, not a lot of mana regen to work with in terms of this, like constant spam of the plague wards. <laughs> Quite find that hook there. Chris Luck just backs away. Stinger gets down a uh, D ward, but didn't manage to land. So he's actually up here on oh, the high ground. Oh, the ulti? Yep. Nah, he's fine. So, about the 10 minute mark, you can see that top net worth so far is still Hector. Schofield runs through. Just going to get a drive. But uh, okay. uh, they get it. Drive by Bounty. They want to keep eyes on Jerex instead. All right. Ball. Chris Lux on the move. He's coming for this kill. It's like, Oops. all right, guys, now. Where's the. There he is. Yeah, they got eyes. They, they got him. Jerex is going to drop. So a little bit more there into the flesh heap. Getting the first stack of it for yeah. Punch. Finally getting things started for himself. They have a uh, charge into hook, but Thompson, not a very easy target, especially with a DD room. Turnaround potential, do be aware. Uh, meanwhile, you have uh, Seb and Ana now joined to the hip. Uh, they're going to try and stack this again. No Tails eyeing it up. I don't know if you can do triple, triple? All right. Ana's like, man, I don't know. Let's we'll see if we can do we'll have it. the ult for this. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be the worst thing. Don't be right? prowlers. Don't be prowlers. Uh oh. Good charge through there onto No Tail. The callback as well afterwards, though. And Thompson moving into position, trying to kill off that Pudge tornado lift up with the EMP chase down. This Pudge is very tanky, though. And there's a nice little stack of ancients he could try and deny himself to, but doesn't get there in time. Yeah, not going to make that one. Yeah, I forgot that they redid all his voice lines, too. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little creepy. I don't know. It's Some the it's the demon it's the no pupils. Yeah. It's very demonic. You know, it really makes him look more like a puppet. Oh, it's meant to intimidate the, the enemies. Oh, look at tops of this DD. He's like, who are these for? Me? Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, nice. Thompson, are we going blink? Oh, yeah, this is a blink first game. We got a Veno, a Disruptor. Like, we got some food in this one. Well, speaking of food, in some trouble now. They got themselves Seb as well. Schofield starting to drop down low with Oracle in the area. They get the pullback. And now Seb trying to stay alive. The Fates Edict, so this Rot's not doing the amount of damage that they would have wanted. They take down the Pudge, and the Magna still a liver as Schofield. They get chased down. He does have the charge available. Could charge through if he wants. And oh, nice. Oh, well played. Was, yeah, really good stuff there. He couldn't get the, the range onto the Spear Breaker himself, so just targets uh, on instead. Thompson gets blasted on the tower. Now empowered with his tree. And OG back on top. A little bit less than a 1,000 gold lead. 
man, what is this? What's the Venno's goal in this game? Like, going for this Dragon Lance into Hurricane Pike next. He needed the Dragon Lance because he knows he's against a Tiny. He needs more HP so he doesn't get burst down before he can pop his ulti. So he has to be able to threaten Poison Nova. So that there's, like, the charge through and the chase down and they can keep the fight going. Like, um, the longer a fight lasts, the more damage their team does. So right. they have a lot of damage over time. And then they have the chase potential of a Spirit Breaker and a Disruptor. So the, the only key thing is you still have to cast your spells. So he, he requires Dragon Lance because of that. Yeah. It's also just a really good um, Hurricane Bite game, too, because the Force Staff versus the Slayer. Makes his way away from the, uh, the catch. And finally pull back in one. Jarek's actually in some trouble. He's going to go down. Did he? He must not hit Ghost Walk, did he? I, I don't know. Yeah. Because he could have at least tried to waste detection. Well, meantime, they don't manage to get that hook back in. To save the life of the oh. disruptor. Yeah, they put a sentry down anyway. Okay, well, he got the waste. I'm still just worried about this looming threat of a, a Slark in the late game. And I don't feel like Ana has really been addressed at all so far. I mean, he's died twice, but, uh, you know. It's a scary hero if left to his own devices, particularly with the mag empowering him. Yeah, you are not wrong. But what do you think is the, the consensus so far on this uh, this Pudge mid that we've been seeing so far? Uh, I think they had a really good counter pick in the Tiny. It basically took away a lot of the advantage you're supposed to gain out of this mid Pudge. So I, I think that kind of ruined it for them. Yeah. Stinger, he runs back in. Topson jumps in on him. And Ana can't quite get it. The hook pulls back another. Whisper going to throw down the Aphotic Shield, bringing down No Tail, but he gets the ulti up on himself. Now the Hector poison is going to start to be spread. Still no points up in ulti at all. On the Veno, the pullback through in the RP. Seb finds another kill. They catch onto the punch. You just respond. Get this man away, away. Oh, and nice. he will get the deny at least, but that is going to be a, ostensibly a four for two. OG heavily into the favor off that one. And that was with a nice hook from Chris Luck, right? Where, like, you, you can't rely on hook even when this hero is a core. Right, um, you're, you're essentially playing him because he's super tanky, and uh, he has a, a good like lockdown through BKB and stuff. And the, the hook is almost like a bonus. <laughs> but uh, he manages to hit a, a really good one there under No Tail, and it's still not enough to win that engagement for uh, the side of Infamous. So rough stuff here, as that's 527 gold from that fight for the Slark. That's Yasha and Defusal almost done. Very close to Defusal. And I, I feel like I've seen so many of these games, right, where you're playing on Slark and, you know, you're already getting a little bit of a lead, 11 permanent Agi on him. Uh, but then more so than that is the, the vision advantage and the constriction of the map that you just feel. Particularly when you have Jerks that can just run around like this and <laughs> potentially force out quick kills. They're looking. Topson finds one. They get the Disruptor. He is going to die. And now Whisper in the area as well. Tornado still available. The silence is there, though. On to this Invoker. There's no damage. Though. They can't bring him down. Whisper's all alone. The rest of his team is off on the other side of the freaking map. And well, if the ulti wears off, they're going to bring it down the Abaddon. But he managed to get the deny. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, he did it. Pudge and Abba. A little frustrating. like Hector is going to be going back for a Silver Edge afterwards. <laughs> silver Edge, eh? Yeah. Okay. I guess it's kind of nifty against Slark if he's like trading hits, then he stops getting the and shift at least. Kind of. Echo Saber. See a hook pass by. And will he just grab Aghanims next? Maybe. One would assume. No tails in the pit. Spot out Jerex. Couldn't get his spell off, but tops in with the avalanche toss onto two. Seb skewers down. RPs onto two afterwards. All of Infamous falling apart now as they're going to have to buy back on that Spirit Breaker and try and get into this fight, if at all possible. 
least for the moment. Abba and Ana just building up all of these stacks. They interrupt the charge, and Ana pops the ultimate, chases forward for Hector. The DOT is not going to do a thing as they find Schofield and OG just styling and stomping yeah, right on away. Infamous. Run away train. Uh, they want one more here as Whispers doing the dance. Oh, and he's doing what he can, but it is not enough. Ana dominating. <laughs> oh man, and OG have something to say about it. Yeah, I, they always do. Right, that's why they keep doing so many documentaries. That's true. Well, Jerex, maybe a bit too far forward. He gets punished, and they're actually going to get the glimpse back to keep a little bit of semblance of control over this, but it's an all for nothing. There's four still in the grave, and this tier oh. three tower is about to go down. You gotta wonder, can they do it in time, though? Those predictions out there. Oh, that's they a good point. They want the sub 20 minute. <laughs> that's a good point. Oh, gee, they got it in their compendium. They're racing for it. They're like, guys, we need this, Rax. I mean, uh, to be honest, with this. Oh, here comes Big Hook. Chris Lock. Oh, no. They want to find it. Uh, Whisper's not careful. He's pretty far forward. Right, here we go. Still Chris Lock, Big Hook. Still got the heal. Oh, my carry. What a save by Seb. Puts the body in there. Easily skewers out. Oh, he tried to pounce away, though, and he's in trouble now. Muted. Trying to Bounce run out, out of there. But he's going to be OK. The Fate Z-Dick keeps him fine. Chase forward. Tornado lift up the EMP. It's going to be pretty big on a Stinger. They take him down. That's going to be Spirit Breaker dead. And even though they have some amount of control over Invoker, it's not nearly enough. The deny, the smallest semblance oh, of a win. 40 seconds. Get that lane going again, mid lane, guys. Trent, I hate to break it to you. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. Oh! Oh, my oh! God! GG! Dude, infamous. They got it. They got their <laughs> companions. <laughs> the ultimate caster curse. They got the 20 minutes. <laughs> Trent, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Trent, it's not going to happen, man. All right, now I just need no one to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to, to not GG to no one. See what I did there? To no one to not GG before 15.